everybody, welcome back to the Flatirons Tuning Question of the Week. This week our question comes from Kevin on YouTube who asks, why do I see people running an air oil separator and a catch can? Yep, and, and he mentioned that this was, he was seeing some of this mentioned on track subies, which is more of a track-oriented, motorsports-oriented uh, Facebook group. And there, there's a couple possible reasons from this, but being that the, it's probably motorsports-related, um, if you have a vent atmosphere air oil separator that has some kind of a, a hose or a drain, it's ideal to vent that to a catch can because should any kind of oil or anything come out of your AOS, you want to catch it in a can so that it doesn't get spread out on the track. So it's basically a preventative measure. Um, a lot of times for more um, uh, tracks that are, that are like really concerned about any kind of oil or any, any kind of fluids dropping on the track surface, they might actually even require any kind of vent atmosphere uh, cans or anything like that have some kind of a catch um, just to prevent any kind of liquid dropping on the track. It's a, it's a safety concern for any of the other competitors. Or going anywhere inside the engine bay. Or, or going anywhere car. in the engine bay, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, for instance, it's super lot battle, battle at Coda. Coda is extremely particular about the track, and they will fine you for even a drop of oil if it lands on the track. So they're like, you, you want to actually, you know, absolutely have any kind of catch mechanism in place to catch any kind of venting that might, might happen. So you're not dropping anything on the track to preserve the track surface. So this doesn't necessarily stem from a problem with just an AOS or just a catch can. Well, no, I didn't say that. Um, not necessarily. I mean, there, there's, there's, a, there's plenty of valid reasons for that. But if you, the other thing that we've heard of, especially more and more that we've talked about the subject, is there are people that have issues where they see stuff like oil coming out of the vent on their air oil separator. Um, and if that's the case, then you need to catch that somehow. That's another reason why you would put a catch can in place, because you know that there's going to be oil coming out of that vent, and so you want to catch it versus just let it drop on your engine bay or, or what have you. Would this be similar to people running multiple uh, air oil separators? For, for much higher power applications, but when people run into this, um, like one of the first things we've seen is where, you know, you run two air oil separators. So instead of having just a single one inch vent, maybe you have two air oil separators with one inch vents. So you have two one inch vents. And then it, you know, there again, for motorsports application, you might have both of those vents go into a large catch can um, for the same reason we just talked about at the beginning. So that if, if anything does come out, um, that it is cat, it is caught and is not, you know, spread on the track or whatnot. But yeah, it's fundamentally, it is, it is possible with a neural separator to run into a, a circumstance where oil is going to come out of the vent too. So just having the neural separator in place doesn't absolutely mean that every bit of oil is going to be captured and returned to the sump. Sometimes, um, through different circumstances, it, you might have something coming out the vent, and then that's where you would want to put a catch can in place to catch it. What would be the main cause of oil coming out of uh, vent to atmosphere AOS? In a motorsports application, it could be just down to very high power um, or long duration spent wide open throttle, um, kind of like what we had touched on uh, in our in our question of the week about PCV system getting overrun. But but ultimately, um, if you're having this issue before you would immediately just go and put in uh, a catch can in line. I would definitely say it'd be worth going and taking a really good look at all of your AOS plumbing, make sure that the lines are open, make sure that the lines aren't pinched, uh, and definitely take a really good look at the drain of your AOS. Make sure that it has a, a consistent downward slope and that it's draining properly, um, because a, very simple plumbing issues like that can cause issues like this, you know, especially anything that prevents the AOS from draining efficiently. So that you're, you're constantly, you know, if you're moving a bit of oil through the PCV, so you're constantly adding to the, the, the level in the AOS, you know, especially on track where you're going to spend a lot of time at wide open throttle, you could run into an, a situation pretty easily where uh, you're pushing, pushing oil out the vent. So, you know, just kind of be aware of what you're doing with the car, how you're driving the car, time spent at wide open throttle, and then just take a really good hard look at, at the plumbing and everything associated with AOS too. 
Well, if you have more questions about AOL separators or catch cans, we do have other videos on our channel about that. We've done a few questions of the week about the Just GCP system yep, yeah. and AOSs and everything around that. If you have more questions that we haven't covered yet, hit us up in the comments below or our messages on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Really support. Really appreciate your support as always. And until next time, stay tuned to Flyers Team.